showed me the integral nature of community organizing, equity, and ultimately bringing those two together so that you can make the world a better place to live, which, as Marianne said, was cemented in me at the age of nine or ten when you know, I was actually taken to a couple of times uh, to go pick strawberries and actually pick uh, apricots so that my father would make sure that this spoiled kid of a professional family <laughs> would understand the disparities and the difficult toil that people have. So I take all this with me um, everywhere I go. Equity is indeed central. But in addition to equity, what is also central and what this country was founded on was open, deliberate discussion where we don't make unilateral decisions, where we bring all parties to the table. It is one of the reasons I love CK, because all 20 cities are there. And we're, all, we're not fighting it out, we're debating it. We're trying to come to a solution that ultimately, right, is best for all of us. And there are going to be winners and going to be losers. And we've got to figure out how we can level that playing field, how we can make things more equitable. In a county that is as blessed as ours, that is a county that has less than 8% at this point, unemployment, right? We have pockets in this county. Communities that have unemployment in East Palo Alto, 19.1%. You can go to places on the, on the east side of San Mateo County and look at the, at the San, city of San Mateo and look at their unemployment, predominantly communities of color. Go to places in Daly City. Go to unincorporated pharaohs, where the disparity is glaring. And if there's one thing the county government of San Mateo does, it serves as that social net, right? That catches folks that sometimes fall through the prosperous and incredibly rich kind of economy of San Mateo. Now, mind you, that is not the only thing I, I, I believe in concentrating on. Because I think that if I cannot talk to Jerry Carlson, who's my neighbor now, if I am not able to talk to Deborah Gordon, who's in Woodside, or moreover, if I can't fight with Marianne about environmentalism and what it means to me and what it means to her, and how you synthesize that, because maybe I, I believe in environmental justice, but not understanding how someone else with just this righteous and moral perspective right, comes to the table with her ideas or your ideas. And if I can't understand them and synthesize them, then I have failed as a Someone who governs, someone who listens.